morning. Good morning. And we're at it again. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't seem to think that we put the camera down at the minute. No. So what are we doing today, love? So we're going to a bit of a treat today. Hey. Going on a little steamy choo-choo. <laughs> so we're still in Aberystwyth and they've got a steam train that runs from Aberystwyth to a place that's about a half hour's drive away. And what's it called? Devil's, Devil's Bridge. Bridge. So we've not been there before. We know there's some pretty waterfalls and some nice scenery up there. So we thought we'd take you guys up to come and have a look. Should we go check it out then? Yeah, let's go have a look. Let's go. We've been hearing this train all weekend blowing its horns. So Nearly didn't even get a ticket for it. Yeah, we, well, we didn't book that late, but late enough for a bank holiday weekend. We nearly missed out. <laughs> yeah. Typical, typical uh, Roland Ruck style though, isn't it? Everything's last minute, everything's spontaneous. Yeah. That's how we like to live life. We yeah. don't book anything in advance. We just do it and that's how we like it. <laughs> let's right, go. Let's go. <laughs> Fail of Rydal Railway, Aberystwyth to Devil's Bridge. And here's the little train station. So here's the timetables. Class, isn't it? I saw one Can we get on a loop and car right? I think we're on a closed one. Oh. <laughs> I hope we're <laughs> That is cool. Oh, oh, it's operated by Great Western Railway. Well, who else is going to operate it? I don't know. It's really cool. Right. And here is our transport for the day. A good old traditional steam powered. Locomotive. Can you there? You excited? We are on the train. Yeah, we scoop the back seat. <laughs> I got a, uh, I got a um, uh, lipstick on. You got lipstick on. Wipe that lipstick off. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, boys? Yeah. Have a good day today. Maybe. 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 <laughs> So we're setting off in about five minutes. We everyone's just boarded. I think they're just doing their windows. final checks. They've just connected the train up to the front of the carriages. So I got two windows. We will be leaving I momentarily, love. Choo choo. I got two choo -choo. Windows. <laughs> Effort. It goes to getting the steam going like that. They've got a pole constantly on yeah, fire. Yeah, um, 
That's right, and they have to, it's hard work because it's very hot in there and they have to keep going and going to keep the train moving. So back in the olden days, it, all and the locomotives were powered by steam yard steam ships. In Fenbrook, Patrick broke the brakes. Well, because it was the easiest. Um, and well, we used to mine for coal, didn't we? And Patrick broke through breaking Spongebob. Oh, we stopped. Do you think we've run out of steam? Hey. <laughs> There's always one in there. It has to be us. No, I can hear the level crossing up ahead. It's a river fed lake. So we're about half hour into our train ride left. Yeah. What do you think so far? Some very high spots. Um, so, oh, this is some, some beautiful scenery, I'm telling you. If you are in Aberystwyth, you gotta take this train ride. It's stunning, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Well worth it. He was going to drop the camera a couple of times, mine, just so he could show it off. Not happening, not happening. <laughs> but yeah, what a view, what a view. We've seen some beautiful. lakes, rivers, just the mountains even. Yeah, it does, it's, what's really cool actually is when they get to the station, it's, it's very how old school it would have been, where they have to jump out and like move all the levers to get the yeah. track to move, and I think that's really cool. Yeah. A lot of history, isn't it? And there's the whistle. I've just spied the waterfall. Is that it? There? There's one up there. Yeah. Oh. That's very close to the edge. <laughs> Come on. Devil's Bridge. Wow. Are you here, love? All right, yeah. So we, we're going to... Got yeah. sun right in my eyeballs. Yeah, I had to put my sunglasses back down. So yeah, excuse the specs. Yeah, so, so we're, we're going to head up straight up to Devil's Bridge, I think. We've got 50 minutes touring before we have to get back on the train to go back. So not quite as long as we would like, but we will make the most of it when we love. Yeah, well, I might have to race down to the waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> See what happens, isn't it? But um, 
Yeah, we was having a bit of a read up on Devil's Bridge, so I'm really excited to go and see it now. Let's go and have a look. It is. Careful. Take Whoa. your time. Take your time. Yeah, I think that is you. Yeah, that's it. Devil's Bridge? Yeah. Do you want some history? Stand by there. Yeah. Right, stand by there. Yeah, stand down here and you can tell us. So you guys can see uh, Devil's Bridge by here. So old legend says that there was an old lady yeah. who had discovered her cow had crossed the river in the morning and the devil had said they would build her a new bridge providing that whoever crossed the bridge they would take their soul first so she before she ended on the bridge she threw a piece of bread a dog jumped on and the devil got the dog instead of the woman but here we have it devil's bridge <laughs> typical woman <laughs> sneaky I don't like it's strange you got three bridges there so you got the original one that was done a couple of hundred years later and then the modern one We've got the steam train. We've arrived at Devil's Bridge and now we're uh, waiting to head back again. It's fabulous. But you do only get an hour. So you can't really get down to the waterfalls and back in that time, you'd end up having to get a taxi. So we're gonna get some food, I think, and a cup of tea. It's like a little den here. <laughs> There's plenty of things to see. Let's look at the fuck the Pine Martin Den. Our rarest mammal has been reintroduced back into the wild. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. To think that they've come back to Mid Wales, not far yeah. from my home. Oh, but look at that. It's, it's like welcoming back an old friend, really. I'm like. going to see if they'll give us a little tutorial on how it all works. They're busy sorting it all out, ready for the journey back. I'm assuming that's the coal bunker he's got going on by there. So let's 
have a look. Is that all right? Look at that, kids. Look at all those controls. Wow. Don't touch because it might be very hot. Yeah, don't touch. Yeah, so they're getting it ready now for when we go back. The detail on these trains though is just absolutely phenomenal. Here's the uh, rucks having a good old look. So do you have to shovel the coal into the furnace on this one? Yeah, it's got a little hatch and a shovel, you shovel from there into the fire. Oh, there we are. Oh, yeah. That's what I said though, wasn't it? It's a constant um, constant thing. Yeah, We've got big yeah, muscles yeah, is, on the go. Yeah. Yeah. So coal comes out of this hatch here. Hang on, see so if I can get in there to show. So it comes out of this hatch here. Yeah. And then that's the furnace behind that lever just in. They're just shoveling it. There's oh, the wow, coal. Wow, that's cool. And then it's shoveled into the furnace just by there. Wow. Really. That's a lot of effort, yeah. isn't it? It is quite a lot of effort, yeah. Do you yeah. get really hot in Belair as well? Uh, today it's not so bad, but on a warm day it can be really hot. Uh, but because it's mainly downhill now, so you don't really need to be shoveling as much. Okay. Just basically... Let it roll. Yeah, filling in the hole and making sure it doesn't go out. That's all you have to, have to do on the way down, really. Right. Because you know, it does most of the work on the way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously it's got a pull. Uh, well, each carriage is uh, seven tonnes. Wow. So you times that by seven, that's quite a lot of... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite a What's lot that? of... Uh, 35 tonnes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much coal do you use for your journey? Uh, you use about a quarter of a tonne per trip. Wow. Uh, so then a lot of shoveling, man. When we get to back to the bottom, we'll just top up the bunkers, um, ready to do the next trip this afternoon. So how many trains operate coming up here? Uh, well, today we've got four trains. Right. And then in the quiet season, we normally just run two. Right. Uh, so on the way down, we'll cross the uh, the next up train at the next stop, uh, just uh, on the way back. So. Right, OK. And then on the way back, do you push the carts back, or are you going to uh, come out to the other end of the train? So you're going to the back of the train, to the opposite end where we were on the way up. Yeah. I'll just give you a view and of the carriages, just on their waiting. Mainly braking because it's the way the train will be pushing the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's got it's got air brakes on this train, which puts uh, um, brakes on all, every carriage on the right, train. Right. Okay. So, um, so is this going backwards, or is there a way for you to spin around? Uh, it will go backwards. There's no turntables. So. Um, in the next five minutes or so, we'll probably go down, fill up with the water tanks, and then go onto the back of the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Very good. Fire it's good, isn't it? Back. It's really, really Thank impressive. You Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Bit of education there for everybody. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> yeah, excellent. So there's a place over there called Two Hoots. So I think that's where we're going to head for. See if we can get some into. Have a, a quick drink in it before yeah. we got to reboard the train. Yeah, yeah. So we've uh, been to the shop, we've been down to Devil's Bridge and we've had a go on the Great Western Steam Train. We even had uh, a little tutorial on how it works, so uh, I think we got quite lucky today actually. Um, we're just waiting to board now and go back on our journey back. Um, it's very, very busy, you can see why it's uh, a good tourist attraction. Um, there's a, quite a bit to do, although the only downside is you only do get an hour. Um, it's not really long enough to do everything that we want to do, like me and Stu quite like to sit down and have some lunch or... And go for a good walk. Basically, because of Covid, what they're doing is you come up on a train and you have to get the train that you caught up back, so they give you an hour. But when we actually, by the time we pulled in and we asked them what time we were leaving, we only actually had 50 minutes. So by the time we walked down to Devil's Bridge, it was only a five minute walk, but the longer walk with the waterfalls were, said it was a 45 minute to an hour walk. So that coupled with the walk back, there was no way we were going to make our train back no. down into Aberystwyth. Whereas normally, from what I understand, is you can get on the train on and off. There's several stations along the way as well, so you can just get on and off all day as you please. But because of COVID, obviously there are there are strict rules in place, so it's not really giving you enough time to do the longer walk. You can do the little shorter one. Well, to be fair, even if you did the short walk, um, the amount of people that are heading down as well at the same time, they're obviously all then entering a queue. 
So we you were quite lucky. We well, got yeah. ahead of the queue, so we've managed to have a little bit of time yeah. left over. So we but, decided we yeah. just do the short one, which you've seen the footage of. Yeah, and we're going to do the waterfall on another time. Yeah, we said we'll bring the motor home up here one day, yeah. so we can do the longer walk, and we got a bit more time up here. <laughs> but it's, it was nice. We enjoyed. Everyone nice. enjoyed the train ride, and to be fair, the, the scenery coming up here, honestly, it was breathtaking. It was yeah. really good, wasn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. So anyway, we'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. The train coming back is going to get fixed on now. Yeah, it's got to go back the route backwards. So I don't have a turntable here. That, you're going to be able to watch it. And that's going to be our view on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> Choo -choo. He's hanging off the side. Jumped a mile. That's why I've got up here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I 